As you may have seen in one of my recent videos, I've just finished putting together a rain barrel system for our backyard. While the first video goes into some detail on how the, the table and the barrels were built and piped together, this video is going to focus on the diverter. Now, there's a lot of commercial options available out there for uh, rainwater diverters that will take water off of your downspout and divert it off into a rain barrel system. But buying one of these off the shelf isn't any fun, and I kind of enjoy a good engineering challenge. Since we get so much rain out of that gutter on the back of the house, I wanted to try my hand at making my own uh, rainwater diverter with some nice big PVC tubing and fittings to uh, get nice high water flow through the system. And so the idea would be, is I started off with this 4 inch uh, T here, this piece right here is basically just a reducer that uh, fits inside of the four inch fitting and I think it was it was down to a smaller size but I uh, cut out this hole with a hole saw <clears throat> to make it large enough for this piece of PVC I think this is two inch and put the PVC down through here uh, and tacked it in place with a screw just to keep it from moving and then sealed up the gap with uh, hot glue and then right here at the base I've just got a tiny drainage hole after the rain is done any excess water in here will be able to slowly drain out so this whole assembly gets just press fit into the bottom here I took a piece of this 2 inch by 3 inch vinyl downspout I took that shape and cut out essentially a circular shape here to fit the inside of our tubing or excuse me of the of the fitting so this slides down to the down through this first top part of the fitting and rests on the lip here so it'll stay above our pipe and the width of this will keep the water away from the final downspout tube here. So by putting this in here, any rainwater that comes in will get diverted out to the sides. We'll go down the sides, out to the outside, fill up the rain barrels. And then once that water level comes up high enough, it'll overflow back down through the gutters. So that's the theory. We're going to hook this all up and see how it works. The small filter that I'm cutting out of a piece of window screen is going to go between the diverter and this 90 degree fitting. That should filter out any large dirt or debris that comes off the roof. Seems to be working. I'm getting, but I'm still getting a lot of water coming out the bottom. I think I might need to raise this up a little bit to open up more flow out to the rain barrels but uh, so far so good I don't think we're uh, beaten yet all right we've got a new pipe that should stick up high enough to hopefully work better and down low enough that I can still attach the gutter to the bottom then we'll just put the screw back in reseal it with hot glue and put the whole thing back together and let's give this a try one more time and with just a slightly taller pipe that works a lot better we're just getting a little bit of water out the bottom but this will work great So it's been a few weeks and the diverter probably needs to be cleaned so let's check it out. 
it's a little bit more difficult to remove than I would like. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> That's gross. Obviously our filter caught a lot of muck and dirt that was floating on the surface of the water. One of the drawbacks of this design is that it does collect a lot of dirt and debris in here, and there's no good way to clean it out except just to dump it. Or, you know, I probably have to rinse this out a few times this season, but uh, we'll try it out for the season and see how well it works. I've got a few ideas for the, uh, the next version of the custom diverter, but we'll save that for a future project. But I'd say, at least for the time being, this DIY diverter is working pretty well. Thanks for watching.